In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can unleash and like destroy your computer with the amount of FPS you can get on Roblox. Because I'm going to be teaching you how to get like a thousand FPS if, again, your computer is capable of doing so. So I made a FPS unlocker video last time. Sometimes it, that can work, sometimes for you guys it didn't work. So I'm going to teach you how you, you can actually unleash your FPS without needing to download some sort of third party software or whatever. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So what you first want to do is open up Roblox and make sure you, when you go to your settings, your maximum frame rate right here is at 60. Click on the default option right here. I know this sounds very counterintuitive because you want to get unleash your FPS, but trust me, leave it at default. You can see what happens later on. So once you've done that, you can close out of this and then you want to hit Windows R on your keyboard. Now open up the run command and what you want to type is percentage sign local app data percentage sign. Press OK. Then you'll be open up with a bunch of files, mainly your apps. And what you want to do is find Roblox. So Roblox is right here for me. I'm going to double click on that. You want to find global basic settings right here. For me, it's an HTML. It's, for, it's opening with Microsoft Edge, but it doesn't matter. Make sure it's global basic settings. There might be another one called global basic settings studio. Don't worry about that one, make sure it's just global basic settings. So what you want to do is right click on it and then click edit in notepad. Just a bunch of stuff obviously, a bunch of code. What you want to do is hit control F on your keyboard and search for frame, frame rate. You should see a frame rate cap right here. For me it's set to negative one, I don't know why it's set a negative one. But there should be a value, some sort of value here and then frame rate cap over here. There's a damn siren next to me. What you want to do is highlight this and change it to whatever you want. So for example, I'll just do 9,999. I know I'm not going to reach this anytime soon. I'm not going to reach 9,999 9 FPS. I can probably get a thousand or like 500. That's still pretty good. Whatever the number is, just add it in. You can go crazy if you want. Probably not too crazy, but I'll stick to 9,999. So now after that, click on file and click on save and that should be it. Next time you want to open the game, you should be getting very very high FPS. So I'm going to show you this when I load the game up. Alrighty, so we're in a game. Now if I just see the FPS, it should be capped at 60 if you know. But now, yeah, 500, I was spot on. <laughs> I can probably optimize this to get close to 1000 or 2000, but 500 is still very good as you can see. I don't know if you can see in the recording, but it's a very, very smooth refresh rate as well because I have a good screen as well. But uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. Before you do anything, make sure you go to your settings and when it says maximum frame rate, it doesn't say default anymore. Before it said default, now it doesn't. Do not touch it at all. It means it's working. As you can clearly see, I'm getting four or 500 FPS right here. Yeah, very, very smooth. I like this actually. Now, if you are having a bit of issues and like it's crashing or something, when you go back here to the global basic settings, you want to right click, click on properties and set this to read only like that. Press apply and press OK. Again, this is if you only have issues. If you, I don't have any issues right now, I just showed you, so I don't need to do this. But if you have issues, you can do that and that should hopefully fix the trick. Other than that, you're done and the video is over. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you actually found it interesting or like helpful to get like 500 fps then yeah please again leave a like comment if it worked for you comment if you have any issues as well I'll try and reply to as many people as i can i might do this with something like fortnite maybe if you want to see fortnite or some other game again comment it down below i'll help you guys out but other than that if you have any ping issues you can watch this video i have linked up on the screen right now